Hello there and welcome to your Monday Minute with Pastor Matt. I hope you're having a great Monday and that you are excited about the week ahead. I wanted to share a verse with you out of, I believe, one of the best, absolute best books in all the Old Testament, and that is the book of Nehemiah. And I think when everybody thinks of Nehemiah, you think of Nehemiah and his greatest accomplishment, right, which was rebuilding the wall. And it's funny you think of that story and you, you study Nehemiah and I really believe that while that is probably what we remember him most by, that's probably not his greatest accomplishment. If you study the life of Nehemiah and everything that he went up against, to me Nehemiah is probably one of the wisest leaders that we can pull from out of the Word of God. Um, you look at what he went through, what he endured, and you, you can't help but think of this man was a man that really knew his stuff, really was in tune with the Lord and what the Lord wanted and followed through on that. Matter of fact, you know, the verse I wanted to share with you at this moment in Nehemiah, it's in Nehemiah chapter 6, Nehemiah's already He's already accomplished great things at this point. He's already gone before the king, Artaxerxes, and he has told the king his burden, which obviously if you know anything about history, especially Bible history, you know that's just something you did not do. You, this was not a godly king that he went up against, but he shared his burden. God held the, the heart of the king in his hand and moved the king in such a way that he released Nehemiah to go and take care of his homeland and put him over that, really. So this part of the chapter in chapter 6, Nehemiah has already received some persecution and oppression really from others, those that you would think would be excited about what he's doing. And, and that's how it is in our Christian life, right? And my encouragement to you today would be when we face the opposition as Nehemiah has done, that we not lose sight of the ultimate goal, and that is the service to our Savior and King. He says here in Nehemiah chapter 6, you know, at this point, Sambalat has done a lot of things to try to get him to falter. And I love what Nehemiah says here. Nehemiah says that, and lo, I perceived that God had not sent him. He's talking about this supposed prophet that had been sent to tell Nehemiah that danger was coming. It was imminent. You, you know, you must flee into the temple and save yourself. You know, we see a lot of that today, don't we, right? With everything going on, COVID and all that other stuff, that we should be scared and, and, and worried and all at the same time. But I like what he says. He says, and Lord perceived that God had not sent him, but that he pronounced this prophecy against me for Tobiah and Sambalat had hired him. Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid and do so and sin that they might have matter of an evil report, that they might have reproach against him. So all of this kind of comes to a head and we see that Nehemiah is really faced with the question here, am I going to fall to man and be afraid of man? Where am I going to serve God? And you know, we're still as believers faced with that question today. And you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do? Are you going to fall to man and cave to man? Or are you going to serve God? And that's in every aspect of our life, right? That is the day in which we live, the government in which we have, and when I say that, that's local, state, federal, all of our government that we have, are we going to be more obedient to our government than we are to our Savior? Uh, when it comes to COVID, are we going to fall in fear to what may happen to us? And you see here in chapter 6 how that he had been told 
to go into the ha- into the temple and to not be afraid. Shut the doors of the temple, for they're going to come to slay him. And he says, he makes a statement, he said, Should I such a man as I flee? And who is there that being as I am would go in the temple to save his life? I think of that. And if Nehemiah, doing such a great work as he did, set the example for all of us, should we flee into the temple to save our own life? Or should we live out and do what Christ has told us without fear? I think we know the answer. I want to be a little bit of encouragement to you today. I hope it has. Lead like Nehemiah. Do set the example like he has follow through serve our savior don't fall to the fear or to what the oppression of man may bring but serve our god i love you i hope you have a great rest of the week and i hope you catch your wisdom wednesday with pastor will and your friday focus with pastor we love you we'll see you next monday